really important to be aware of your spelling and careless typos because they do matter. The harsh reality is that people judge you on it. Poor spelling, sadly, makes you seem a bit slack or less intelligent. You may just be trying to seal that big deal with someone who has a fetish about spelling, and if you cannot be bothered to get your spelling right, they might start doubting your potential to deliver. Remember, spelling is one of those basic skills that will always be required. As English language professor and author of Does Spelling Matter, Simon Horobin says, it is better to be right and seem slightly fussy than it is to try and come across as more relaxed and end up upsetting somebody else because you've made some sort of basic error that they feel very strongly about. So, if you know that spelling is not your strong point, there are things that you can do to ensure that this doesn't limit you. If you are ever unsure, check. With modern technology, it is as quick as a Google search away, so there really is no excuse for incorrect spelling. And you can use a spelling checker, or even better, install a credible writing assistant such as Grammarly. The free version of this will help you spot and fix misspelled words, grammar, and punctuation mistakes. And if you come across a word that continuously flummoxes you, take the time to sound it out aloud, and then write it down on a piece of paper several times. This will reinforce it and boost your memory. Find funny ways to remember how to spell difficult or awkward words. I'm pretty sure we all remember our English teachers at school telling us things like I before E except after C and big elephants can end up sums easily. Spells because. Right, they clearly work. So please use these for those tricky words. And you want to write to express and not impress. Yes, we're only in lesson two and we've already said this several times. So here it is again. Don't try to use fancy words to impress. Trust me, you'll look even sillier when you spell them wrong or you use them in the wrong context. You are far less likely to make errors when you use words that you use every day.